watch it uh, last match. Uh, I, I, I think you understand the meta. Yeah, I, I, I only understand one thing, that Night of is OP. <laughs> uh, Night Elf is uh, one of the strongest race, uh, I agree. I mean, I'm just uh, joking. Did you see that uh, rant from Chinese players where I think that was Infi, THO and someone else discussing how OP Night Elf is and that no one in the world can play it properly? Uh, yeah, but uh, you know, uh, my mind and position that uh, Warcraft is a very old game about uh, at, le uh, at least uh, 20, uh, 12, 20 years. Yes. So maybe uh, maybe uh, professional players uh, should start uh, learn uh, at least two races, uh, not focus only one. So if you uh, think that uh, Night Elf is OP, maybe just play it. Should, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, maybe uh, we hope uh, that Blizzard uh, will do a new patch uh, and we get some change. Yes. And the game will be different, but. It's uh, normal that uh, now uh, the meta is stable and many strong strategies uh, players found. Uh, so I think th the best way uh, you, you can decide uh, what race and you need to learn what race is the best in the current patch and use it. Yes, I mean, this is. I think this is how Infi and THO approach the game. Also, if I feel like in Europe, this is like Starbucks. Like when uh, Night Elf, uh, Undead was kind of strong with Cryptlord, he was playing Cryptlord. Then when Night Elf was strong, then he was playing Night Elf, and now Orc is strong, he's playing Orc. Yeah, it's a good way, and uh, I believe it's a good, uh, uh, special when uh, we haven't uh, patch a new patch and uh, haven't any changes. Yeah. So of course you need to find the best strategy and uh, try to make it, but. Uh, uh, it's not obviously that Night Elf is stronger because uh, many players still play uh, Human, Undead, and Orc. Yeah. Okay, back to game. Uh, uh, we have uh, last Demon Refuge. Uh, yeah, this map, uh, classic uh, Demon Hunter. Uh, very good map for Demon Hunter because Priest of the Moon not good uh, because uh, this map, map is very specific. Uh, and uh, easy to fight against mass huntresses. Look at this perfect video match. Both circlet, both illusion. Yeah, that's why I like to play aggressively with uh, only first level demon hunter. Because one of player, if uh, boss creep, uh, one of players can get illusion and uh, creep faster, and one of player get wards. Uh, and cannot. W words and uh, or uh, replenishment potion. Yeah, and I think that, okay. Uh, Robinson is yellow, Paladin in blue, and it feels that. What is this? They get same items. Balance. What? What, are, what? What are the odds for that? Night Elf uh, the most balances race. <laughs> yes, for <laughs> sure, but. Should you actually use illusions now for scouting? Isn't it like worth keeping the illusions for later? Uh, hard to say. Uh, depends uh, what situation. For example, uh, uh, Robinson uh, didn't uh, and uh, Paladin uh, didn't creep, haven't creep yet uh, mercenary camp, so you, you can use illusion to stop this creep or delay. So it's uh, good uh, to use at least one illusion and uh, have additional scout. Yes. Pull the golem. Very strong st strategy with illusion. And I feel like Paladin is more aware of what he wants to do and he's buying so much time because when uh, the Ancient of War was uprooted, he was not producing archers and now the supply lead is on Paladin's side and he's the aggressive one. Yeah, the main idea, uh, if a boss decided uh, to play passive, uh, they both uh, got uh, Demon Hunter level 3 to buy creep uh, mercenary and uh, see items. So this Demon Hunter uh, classic uh, mirror uh, very depend of items and uh, scout. Oh my god, and that Naga kind of being chased. A lot of damage on Demon Hunter. And this is much better for Paladin, for sure. 
Yeah, boss player decided uh, to kill Naga first. It's uh, right, right target because Naga is really uh, low HP and weak, weak at, the, and at this stage. But uh, Paladin uh, uh, got level three and Robinson level three, so it's uh, hard to say. Uh, no one ha has uh, obviously and advantage. Paladin is expanding. Is that a right call? Is he that ahead, or maybe his entire strategy was always about Archers and Talons tier two expansion here? Yeah, this map uh, is also good for Talon play. Special uh, when if uh, Robinson uh, don't scout, make any scout. Yes, but so I I like I like uh, Paladin that uh, he play unusual uh, in such important final. Uh, try to make pressure to use a a another style, not their standard. Yes, exactly. And Paladin is really known for that in Poland. And I think that even Paladin here, he could even not make talons, but like mass hypo riders, hypo riders, you know? He could do that potentially. Uh, yeah, potentially can. Uh, it's it's very uh, very hard strategy. Uh, usually, uh, hypo riders is good uh, when uh, uh, your opponent uh, make uh, huntresses, because with huntresses. Uh, um, Slow edge and uh, hip riders uh, works well uh, if uh, not uh, enough scout from your opponent, so Whoa. it can be unexpected. And the Robinson, he is being denied of so much. I feel like his creep root approach is kind of wrong here, like going for that Merc camp, honestly, because Paladin is just controlling the position of Robinson, putting some, applying some pressure. But, yeah, the question is that, is the expansion play going, going to pay off for Paladin? Oh, he gonna kill the Naga? No, not really. Maybe a trade? No, there's a staff on Paladin's side. Uh, very crucial moment that uh, Robinson uh, checked uh, this expansion, so he can uh, immediately <gasps> oh, change the uh, strategy. No way! No TP! Oh, huge mistake uh, by Paladin. Whoa! <laughs> I, I uh, miss uh, uh, the moment uh, when he lost his t teleport. I mean, Naga was pressured, Paladin did uh, pass the TP to Naga, Naga TP'd and Dimohammed was out of range of TP. Oh, yeah, huge mistake. And I, I surprised that uh, Robinson uh, still uh, 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 decided to play Bears against uh, Arch Talents, but maybe it's because uh, he was uh, under pressure and uh, now he really needs a uh, heal because uh, Moonwells are empty. So what would be the best call? You see the expansion, you are approaching tier 3, then you, what, make a field hero mass archer or maybe an MG? Uh, first of all, you need uh, some dryads, uh, 3 or 4 dryads. After maybe add one mountain giant and uh, go uh, upkeep with additional two mountain giants and two dryads. So the, be the best uh, mix uh, three mountain giants and uh, five, six dryads. But uh, sometimes uh, you uh, didn't, uh, you don't uh, check uh, in time uh, that your opponent played talents. So you make uh, standard pairs, maybe two. And after uh, back to Mountain Giants and Dryads combination. And yeah, you need to rush this expansion because it's too greedy. A and uh, maybe Talon Masters is not ready in such timing. Yes, so but Robinson now needs to uh, uh, push with Orp of Venom and uh, Book of Death and uh, Scroll Whoa. and Illusions. Paladin is playing so greedy because I'm seeing expansion and I don't see the supply. He's not only expanding, taking to tier 3 and going talons. And I guess this is too greedy because Robinson is hitting a nice timing because of that. Yeah, I think uh, the main idea of this strategy, it's really greedy, but the um, idea was uh, to make a huge pressure with mass archers. But uh, because uh, Robinson got uh, Demon Hunter level 3, uh, Paladin uh, didn't real realize uh, this archer rush, and uh, yeah, now situation that uh, 
he haven't uh, master talents and Robinson has a good timing to rush him. Yes, and oh my god, this Paladin played too greedy here. I mean, he had all the cards in his hands in this game. Losing Demon Hunter kind of slowed him down and now he's in the back foot. This expression did not pay off. Right, uh, lost Demon Hunter and uh, not uh, strong enough Archer Rush in the middle. So now it uh, can't uh, defend uh, this expansion because I uh, haven't Master Druid. But in general strategy was good. I, li I, I like this uh, strategy by Paladin. Oh, and he cannot heal his Demon Hunter right now. He has to wait for the potions to recharge. And there's no expansion for Paladin. He has a tier 3 with Talons, and I don't know how strong tier 3 Talons are against Bears, actually, there. It's a, it's a direct counter. Um, just uh, Talons uh, are not uh, good against uh, late game and mount Mountain Giants. Uh, you can't uh, fight with Mountain Giants without expansion, for example. So, yes. Now, posi position uh, is really set for Paladin. Yeah, I just wanted to ask ab about it. Like, what do you think is Paladin's position? Is he like, uh, like 50 50 or is, is he really behind? He still ha has a chance uh, because uh, Talons is good against Bears. So he needs uh, one good fight. Maybe oh, that... somehow maybe somehow kill all Bears. Or, or Naga kill got hero. blocked in the front line. Oh. That's not how you engage the fight. Yeah, Paladin uh, played too aggressive. Uh, he should wait his Demon Hunter. And now, uh, what a probably a great start for the Robinson is that in that best of seven, but still Paladin in a game, destroying those bears. He uses TP, and supply is still equal. Wait, no, it's Robinson with the TP. Yeah. Uh... Well, I, I think it, it was not a mistake uh, to not make immediately t TP. Yeah, he lost uh, four bears, but uh, he made a uh, fight, took uh, Naga, and now he has opportunity to go Mountain Giants, because uh, bears uh, really do nothing in, against his talents. So at least uh, he took uh, Naga of Paladin. But he's he still produce bears. Yeah, he's or, not tech swapping. He's like like free dry as a bear. He is what? Or, or, for, for, he's or making more just bears. Just one bear. I think he, uh, he has like yeah. 38 supply, and now he's 42. I think he's making an additional bear, so he's not tech swapping. But he's really low on wood, so maybe he's preparing mountain giants. He has eight supply spare. A mountain giants is seven or eight supply. Uh, six. Uh, he mu he must go mountain giants. So there's no way. Uh, there uh, really there a strategy with bears, but you need, uh, for example, dark ranger and mass archers with uh, markmanship. One paladin going super aggressive, but how do you counter dry dryas with mass talons? You don't probably. Oh, that demon hunter has to be careful. Where's the naga? There's no Naga, no stuff. There is Info Potion though on the Paladin side. And another problem is that Paladin uh, haven't any archers to counter Dryads. So with this strategy you need at least... But uh, he, he has uh, Berserk and Priest. What a weird game! I mean, why Robinson did not produce Mountain Giants and more Dryas? I feel like those bears are just a waste of money. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe he started to produce. Whoa! Uh, Paladin uh, killed Naga. Why, why the... Robinson uh, not uh, use TP? I don't know. It's kind of confusing. Have... Yeah. Yeah, seems uh, Robinson as always uh, get uh, uh, initiative and advantage and started to nervous. Like uh, yes. they play match, match before. And he still produced bears. It's a huge mistake. He has like five bears. It's f full. You say, you say that talents are the direct counter to bears. 
and how Robinson counters talons is by making mass bears. At least make dryads yeah. even, I don't know. Uh, need uh, a lot of dryads, five, six, and uh, the main idea is that uh, you uh, no, no need uh, to fight uh, fast. Uh, you need to wait uh, until until uh, dryads uh, get more mana, like maximum mana, two hundred uh, for enough dispels. Ah yes, yes, yes. And now Robinson really like what a back and forth game. This demon hunter is stacked. Perfect items for him. Level five. But also level five on the Paladin. There's a. F I mean, this Naga from Paladin always out of position. Yeah, like a tank. Uh. Yes, <laughs> Paladin, you don't tank with Naga. That's not a tank. And Demon Hunter on the back line. Invu swapped. And all the army is flying. Where is the dispel? Even no wisps. This is looking. Bet for the Robinson supply dropping. That Naga. Uh, this, this, this Naga. What, uh, what is yeah. happening in this game? I don't know. Yeah, uh, they play final, and it's uh, normal that maybe a boss nervous. It's very important game. I mean, every time he's hurt, like half of the army can die for the Paladin. There is no heal scroll. And that, Demon Hunter is just wrecking the talents. Naga yeah, Robinson, is back. R Robinson has a really strong Demon Hunter. Look at his items. Oh my Last god, what a triple kill. And this Demon Hunter uh, going to level 6. Paladin with, with 1200 gold. He did not macro behind. He can rebuy a game of throws. Uh, <laughs> lo lo look at this Demon Hunter uh, by Paladin also. Because uh, he lost his Naga, his uh, Demon Hunter uh, soon level 6. will get level 6. I mean... What if we're gonna see a double level 6 Demon Hunter in a finals? I haven't seen that like in ages. Or maybe I'm not watching enough a Night of Meteor. Yeah, this uh, strategy is talents against bears. Uh, it's uh, actually uh, often you can see the, this uh, uh, late game six demon hunter against six demon hunter. Yeah, it means that uh, these uh, guys uh, play very good level. But look at the sneaky, sneaky expansion from Paladin. He did manage to do it, and oh my god, Robinson with perfect scouting. Maybe this expansion could buy potential time, but no, Robinson is... Oh wait, it is buying time. And it's extremely important time for Paladin, because if Robinson chooses to push, Paladin is in trouble, I think. Yes, the biggest problem is that uh, this time Robinson uh, take uh, all wisps. So he won't uh, one good fight, and it can decide. But isn't that like he gonna fork lighting that wisp that's level 6, boom, Demon Hunter, Superman? But no mana on him. Wait, again, what a bad engagement. Why no info potion at the start? He has now no mana to his ultimate. Yeah, he should buy a mana pot. Level 6, but what then? Naga? Goes down. No stuff. What is going yeah, on? I, I, I think that uh, Paladin uh, uh, really bet uh, micro because I lost uh, Naga uh, two times and uh, Naga uh, used Naga very aggressive. So it, it's a uh, give a lot of experience that Robinson got uh, Demon Hunter also level six. But yeah, this game very intensive. Yes, intensive. Yes. But okay, isn't it now good to maybe if you have full HP Demon Hunter with some mana to avoid mana burn, just use Invo Potion first. Use Superman, you know, like go mana burn Superman, uh, and start attacking. Like do it like this. I don't know. Like mana burn is cursed now. 150 mana. Maybe pre use mm. ultimate. Oh, we have ultimate. Double ultimate. 
No? Uh, I'm not sure why Robinson doesn't use it. I don't know. He cannot get mana burn. There's no mana on the Demon Hunter from Paladin. And so, not impactful ultimate at all. Like, he went and it's like, okay, Superman, no problem. I can deal with that because he has no HP. And expansion goes down for the Paladin. And it feels like there's more HP that is rejuvenation on the uh, Robinson side and no rejuvenation on Paladin side. So, I don't know. He did brute force his way to victory, maybe. A player's forces are uh, the situation is much better for Robinson uh, because uh, now he uh, has a lot of drives with Dispel and uh, has uh, better heroes, 6-5, and uh, crazy items, crazy items, uh, much better items because uh, incre increase uh, stats, because uh, Paladin uh, had only one circlet on his Demon Hunter. To compare Robinson, yeah, who has uh, boots of agility. Yes, yes, exactly. And uh, I don't know. I feel like Paladin. He needs some heal scrolls. Oh my God, healing ward on the high ground. That's so per. Why are you, are you moving out of here? I think he shouldn't. He had perfect position. He lost so much running. Yeah, true. He could have like dealt with all the bursts there, no problem. Uh, I, I think it's because he haven't uh, ultra vision, you know, uh, night time and uh, hard uh, to see uh, when Robinson came. So he realized very late, uh, you see that uh, he buy, bought a Zeppelin, even Zeppelin, but it's too late. Oh, that fork lightning from level 5 Naga hurts so badly. Paladin is fighting with everything he's got. And Demon Hunter might go down. There's no stuff. Zeppelin? Oh, didn't make it on time, but that wouldn't help at all. GG. And we have a 1 1. So the advantage goes away from Paladin. And we are starting the final from the zero. Best of five between, between them. Yeah, good start. Uh, very nice game. Mm, I'm impressed. I'm surprised that actually you said like, ah, what is Robinson doing? There's no way. And he somehow brute forced his way out of this game. I, but I still feel like just Paladin forced so many fights that he didn't need to. It's like always the same mistake from those right. players. Yeah, uh, in, the, in the end and, and the start, uh, Paladin uh, lost his Demon Hunter. It was a huge mistake. That was like maybe uh, the biggest mistake of the game because he was ahead. A lot ahead. Yeah, yeah, and after he lost uh, N Naga, uh, so yeah, he he, he took uh, R Robinson took uh, better fights. Yeah, and I feel like the one tip for the Paladin, Naga is not a tank. <laughs> Remember that. Don't initiate with Naga. But I guess we're gonna have the second uh, the second game on Northern Isles, and players already did start this map. So I wonder. Are we going to see Demon Hunter again, or maybe we're gonna see Princess of the Moon, or maybe a Keeper on that map? How is like Night of Mirror uh, looking? This is the first time we're gonna see that map in the Night of Mirror today. Yeah, I think this map is the best uh, for Demon Hunter with Demon Hunter, like like classic uh, play, like Last Refuge. So these maps, uh, Last Refuge and Now the Miles, uh, Demon Hunter map. Okay, so I wonder. I feel like Robinson. He did win that. I was. I wanted to say like, oh my God, Robinson with Demon Hunter. That's not his most comf comfortable play. You know, like this is not his safe hero. He wants to play Keeper, maybe Prince of the Moon, and he's surprising Paladin with a strategy choice. So I wonder that if Paladin is going to cheese because he is really known for this mass archer Naga second AOE push on tier two. Maybe he's gonna surprise Robinson with this strategy. Or maybe you're gonna see something different. This is like open cards right now. We started from zero. It's 1-1. One, one, no advantage for the Paladin anymore. And it's a best of five now be between the players. Yeah, ideally to talk about this map. Uh, map is really big and uh, as most uh, of uh, professional Night Elf players like Moon, uh, Lulite, Colorful uh, play uh, Demon Hunter and late game. Bears, Zeppelin, uh, because uh, this map only one shop. So 
big, big advantage to get a player who buys a scroll. Uh, but yeah, we see that uh, Robinson decided to play Priest of the Moon. Uh, this map is uh, very hard to realize this strategy because, as I told before, map too big for rush and uh, not uh, comfort uh, to play with expansion because uh, Demon Hunter can catch uh, and uh, yeah, not not easy to make expansion. And what if he chooses to play like Priest of the Moon tier two? And that can the second must rest expansion on, on tier 2. Yeah, this strategy is, looks better. Uh, I like the strategy. And yeah, li like a special strategy and a special way uh, you can play like this. So, uh, also old school style. Uh, for example, Priest of the Moon, Dark Ranger, uh, 3 oh, 4 Hunts. Is, is that big? He lost Ancient of War. Oh. I, I don't know, it seems Paladin uh, really uh, tired, or um, maybe he was uh, boring to wait so long. Mm, yeah, m many mistakes. I mean, Robinson it did did scout it. He sees that, okay, Paladin is making Demon Hunter, he has no Ancient of War. Yeah. Do you rush now? Double Ancient of War, Mass Huntresses. Yeah, in this case, uh, rush is possible. And he's doing it's, that. Uh, yeah. So it will be very hard for Paladin. He need to rebuild his engines of war because he need uh, a wall. Uh, if you play against mass hunters, it's crucial and very important to make a wall. So I like uh, that uh, Paladin uh, do this. But it's, this. it's experience speaking through him. He knows how to deal with this stuff. It looks. Uh, yes. Uh, but anyway, sometimes uh, even you make a wall, uh, some Korea Knight play players uh, uh, can enter and kill uh, three, four archers and use teleport. It's a good strat. Like uh, you do such push. Demon Hunter, for example, trying to find expansion. So yeah, the worst thing uh, when you play Demon Hunter archers, uh, you have not enough scout and player who use Huntresses uh, with Ultra Vision can catch any Wisp, uh, play Expansion or Tier 2 or make Rush. But this map, as I told before, mm, easier with Demon Hunter because map too big, uh, can buy, buy a staff of teleportation to get mobi mobility. mobility. And let's see, illusions for this Robinson, like, he's hitting those really important items, I don't, okay, he's using that illusion for tankiness, but if he's preparing a push with Huntresses, he can make more units with illusions, just bait those tank, those damage uh, from, from archers, and pff, it's looking really good for him so far, like, Paladin, I, I'm, I'm so surprised that Robinson is not aggressive, I'm honestly super surprised that he's not aggressive. He knew. Yeah, with this with, with this threat, uh, one hunt you need to use uh, to find demon hunter because you see that uh, somehow paladin without entrance of war got demon hunter to two point nine against uh, priest with army. How is possible? Yeah, I mean this is one of the mistakes that we saw from Robinson before as well. Not trying to just. Keep keep track on your opponent, you know, like just always make this threat. Because it's never comfortable creeping if you see Huntress on the back or, or on the back because you you are like, okay, I'm gonna get creep jacked, I'm gonna get creep jacked. And Priest of the Moon is just creeping. He's not creep jacking, but you make this threat in your opponent's yeah, mind. But, by the way, this creep I like more than previous uh, uh, use illusion uh, to priest and uh, take a big spot. Yeah, and now, okay, TP is gone, level 3 is there, and illusions are there, okay, I guess like, now you go to the, you either wait for the night to end, and push with mass huntresses, and uh, he scrolls, and I think this is what Robinson is doing, he wants to do that delayed push. Mm, I'm not sure, he, he needs uh, to rush as fast as possible, and uh, other, other uh, way, uh, otherwise, uh, Paladin uh, need to make two engines of war and make catapults because I don't see how he can win with uh, without any army 
and go greedy at tier 3. He has 23 only supply. Only, only a chance that uh, Robinson started uh, to do like this, creep, and ignore this uh, greedy tier 3. So I really don't understand why Robinson uh, don't want to go to rush. He's looking... S I mean, Paladin is always so greedy player. And if only Robinson saw the supply, saw the information that we see, that he can just go and maybe win the game. Yeah, the uh, mistake is uh, that uh, Robinson uh, going to wait uh, catapults, but he need just, uh, after he use a TP, just take five, six wisps uh, with eight hands and go uh, and uh, make uh, tower rush and don't wait so long because now uh, Paladin maybe will have bears. By, by the way, uh, Mm, bad position for lore and shop. Yeah, it's super bad position. It's the most important building is the shop. You know, he needs stuff, potions, all about venom. And there's a push. Oh my god, he's only fighting with heroes, basically. Why are the wisps to dispel the rejuvenation? That's so important. That's a round! But it begins with potion. Stuff. He came way late. Robinson? Yeah, yeah. You, you see that um, Paladin now uh, ha have op has opportunity to buy Orpo Venom and... Uh, oh, but he killed uh, Ancients of Lore and Master Upgrade uh, didn't uh, get it. <laughs> he's just fighting with Adept Bears and no Orpo Venom and he's still defending and this is just looking so... <sighs> I, I don't know, like Robinson... All it takes is just send Wisp, scout, adjust, you know, have this experience. Palin had like 25 supply for a, such a long time and now he's all fine. Tier 3 items, units. Yeah, and uh, same problem and mistake like uh, last match uh, on Tidehunters. Uh, only one Ancient of Protector at, against Bears need four and... Uh, just uh, wait these four protectors and after can push. And let's see. So, what... it, b b better position for Paladin. Now he got uh, Master Bears. Still no Orpo Venom. And he has a gold. He has like a thousand gold. He can do anything. Why he's not producing units? Where are the items? No Master mm, Training. Maybe... Maybe because he lost uh, one inch of floor, can can do good nah. production. Oh, that was last very second. Very good block and uh, good staff. But where is the army of Paladin? There are no units produced. Like, what is happening? He bought Orb of Venom, got a big info potion. He should use now. He should never wait with that. He need to save HP. Yeah, that's, in my opinion, that's too late in the potion on the Demon Hunter. But a mm. great position for the, for the Paladin. Very close. Very close. The Zeppelin play is just saving Robinson right now. So many units red, in red. Oh, very good uh, heal, heal uh, scroll. Oh my god, those bears, they die. What is the supply for the Paladin? Only 36 supply, 32. And now, is Robinson breaking Paladin here? Yeah, I think so, because uh, Paladin uh, uh, didn't uh, build uh, second entrance of lore inside base and shop. So you see that uh, he used so, so much time to move to this shop, at least to buy something. Uh, so he took a uh, third hero because he need. Uh, he needs units. Any, a, 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 he need units and any army. But that's how hero now matter. Like, shouldn't you pick maybe Panda just to breath of fire those huntresses? I mean, I understand Fire Lord for maybe splitting the fire elementals. Mm, I think because uh, Fire Lord is range hero, he need uh, to be away from engines of protectors. That he wants to be away. That Zeppelin is just so much value for the Robinson, and Paladin is not targeting that Zeppelin. 
He's old anti -air. I think uh, Robinson uh, he heard our stream that he needs four protectors. <laughs> no, he doesn't. So you see that he built uh, four protectors and easy win. <laughs> I mean, he will, uh, we see how happy he is. Two wins in a row. I think Paladin has to reset a little bit. Uh, maybe too much stress. Maybe he's he's too uh, too relaxed. Like three zero win this bracket, no problem. We're gonna four zero Robinson uh, in the grand finals. But now Robinson coming really really strong. But I feel like Paladin, he's maybe playing too greedy. Second game in a row, he's just so greedy. One K gold and no production. Yeah, maybe uh, it's not a uh, good time uh, for Paladin. Maybe his best. Uh, uh, timing to play uh, morning or day because yeah it can happen that uh, in, in the end of the day uh, you, you started uh, to play not your best yeah I mean it doesn't matter how you start it matters how you end always in the tournament whenever you play you know and now Paladin started strong and now he's struggling in the grand finals he needs to make a comeback somewhere in the map in the both games he had a situation where he could have won but same last refuge, huge chaos in the game, back and forth. Now it feels in Northern Isles maybe uh, a little bit too greedy, I don't know, maybe he forgot to macro a little bit. And we are already jumping straight forward to the third game, Robinson 2-1 in a lead. And what is the next map? I'm trying to have a sneak peek, that's Shallow Grave. The new map in yeah, the map pool. Yeah, if you remember last map, um, uh, Paladin uh, was not lucky with uh, up respawn because this respawn uh, have not enough space to build uh, inside building. So I need to make a uh, um, free, free base, like, you know, uh, more space. Yes. Is, you, is your cat all, all also cheering? <laughs> he just hit the cat. <laughs> yeah, he, he's very hungry, so my wife uh, trying to I give him a food. <laughs> Wait, why is Robinson say, saying that Paladin position is better? Is this not... Is, is it different? How is top um, left better position? I have no idea, honestly. I mean, I, I wonder, I will ask Robinson later. Uh, what is the advantage of the, of the top left position on this map in Night of Middle Order? Can you maybe make Asian of War closer? I have no idea. I didn't really study Shadow Grave a lot. I, I, I have to be honest, I don't really enjoy that, this map as much as, for example, Tet Hunters from the newer map pool. Yeah, this map, by the way, good for Priest of the Moon. Uh, because uh, very hard uh, to creep Demon Hunter to level 3 if uh, you get some pressure. And uh, it's possible to play with expansion, use Priest of the Moon. So I like uh, Robinson's style more and strategy. But uh, seems Paladin uh, started to play classic standard, uh, classic Demon Hunter. But uh, we saw, we have seen before that uh, he also good at Priest. I, I believe maybe better than Robinson. So I am surprised that he don't want to use Priest. Oh, nice dispel by Robinson. The night that Lightning Shield creep from Paladin. I wonder if Paladin did the same for Robinson. He did not. Hmm, hard to say. Because, uh, uh, yeah, you lost Wisp and Scout. So, uh, logical is that if you dispel Wisp, you need to take your hero and make Scout by your hero. Because second Wisp is too expensive and you lost um, much uh, wood. And is Rob I think like Robinson gonna play the same strategy here. Yeah, he's preparing the second Asian of War, pulling the turtles, and I feel like Paladin. He's always playing defensive against this kind of style. He tries to creep a lot, but this base it feels like on this map it's so wide open, really hard to build that concave there. Yes, but uh, still possible with four moonwells and hunter's hole. So yeah, this map uh, you need uh, to make wall uh, use hunter's hole. But also, like, he needs to make it much, much wider because in the Northern Isles map, he couldn't hide lores inside of the base. 
He lost one of the of, of the lords uh, when the Robinson was pushing again. He couldn't maybe consume his uh, economy uh, by making any units. And let's yeah, see. Uh, I think he realized uh, that, and in this game, it will be okay. What is the item? Illusions again. I mean, like Robinson is getting perfect items all the time. Like even last game, great yeah, items. Yeah, but uh, Rink is not good for priest. Uh. How no? I, I know, like maybe for Paladin the ring is good because he's tanking with the Naga. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, if uh, Paladin got this ring, it's good for Demon Hunter. Better, even better than uh, maybe uh, Close or uh, uh, this item uh, Gloves. Yeah, and. There's a rejuvenation potion, really great item for Paladin. He now realizes, okay, I can heal. I'm gonna go to the shop and start creeping there, maybe by a circlet. Or and Robinson as well. He's doing the same strategy as in game number two, with delayed push from Princess of the Moon. Are they forty? Yes. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. I thought yeah, I, 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 I lost you for a moment. Yeah, I think. Uh, uh... Robinson played too passive. Uh, look at this Demon Hunter and Archer, just free uh, creep uh, middle. With uh, hunt control, you should not uh, allow this. Yeah, and Robinson, he is late with, with a creep jack. He's trying to chase the army of Paladin, but again, Paladin level 3, tanky item with plus 6 strength, that's perfect for him if there's aggression from the Prince of the Moon. There is no dust though. So, by the way, uh, if uh, Paladin uh, got uh, Demon Hunter level 3, it's uh, good uh, to take Naga second with uh, Demon Hunter level 3. Wait. But if Demon Hunter level 2, it's better Tinker or Panda. Wait, how did he lose 4 archers? 5 archers? There is no dust from Robinson. Yeah, it's very bad. Uh, very bad. He should uh, take Naga and only after take this fight. Yeah, that's really good for Robinson and Paladin. He actually has so many archers. He has four archers, even though he lost like five of them. And the problem is that uh, he didn't build uh, four Moonwell. I think Paladin's yeah. plan was just to mass archer push with Naga. Uh, oh, it's not a push. Uh, I, I, I think it's. Uh, uh, just uh, good defense. You, know, you, you can't push uh, six hunts uh, with six archers, even you have uh, Naga second. But yeah, the problem is that, uh, as I told before, archers uh, can't fight against uh, huntresses in uh, uh, free space. So only uh, with Ancients of War and Moonwells and uh, second hero. And now Paladin is being chased by the Huntresses. It's really hard. I mean, if he had those archers, then Robinson wouldn't chase him as much. Paladin with 28 supply. Both players are taking to tier 2. I mean, Paladin probably going to tier 3, but Robinson, he was taking to tier 2. We saw that inside his base. Yeah, and by the way, um, if you play this 6 archer strategy, you maybe don't need Dryads. Just uh, tier 3, uh, Naga and... Uh, Fast pairs. Oh, the Naga second from Robinson? Oh. We didn't check that uh, Robinson went uh, tier 2. He I'm did. Surprised. He, yeah, he, he was, but why Naga? Uh, not, not, not sure uh, if uh, he needs this uh, tier 2 and Naga too expensive. Um, too expensive. And I mean, uh, he, uh, he give opportunity to Paladin. Uh, Realize uh, his uh, tier three. I mean, Paladin is taking on a single lore, and I know I've I, I think I've never seen Princess of the Moon with Mass Huntress and Naga second. Like maybe Alchemist, I know maybe Dark Ranger, but Naga maybe he felt that he has the upper hand and he's pushing. He was gonna uh, kill some archers with Frost Arrow, but that's not the case. Yeah, only with expansion or uh, their special strategy. Uh, Moon like uh, likes uh, to play it sometime. Uh, uh, fast tier two with four hunts, Naga, and uh, Angels of Protectors with Nature Blessing upgrade. 
Yes, and Paladin, let's see what he is doing. He is creeping more. Getting a of energy on Naga, but not having level 2 is kind of problematic. There is no fourth lighting. Where are the bursts? Where is the rejuvenation? Robinson creeping a lot. I really like that from him. And he's been... Okay, the push is coming. But I think uh, it's creep creep is not good for him because um, he was uh, he need uh, to rush uh, Paladin uh, before bears. Oh, the demon hunter! He has no TP, but there is a staff. No dryads. There's only archers and bears. But did you yeah, this is not not real fight by Paladin. He just uh, scouted. And the protectors are coming. Two protectors already, really far away. And what is the 50 supply for the Paladin? Only 56 against 47. Mm, he needs uh, Master Bears. Uh... I know. Is this a clutch timing from Robinson? This is looking so good for him. I'm so surprised. What a performance by him. Yeah, as I told before, it's a good map for Priest. Very strong. Naga under pressure, that is in the potion. No TP, no heal scrolls. 28 supply. Demon Hunter really low. I don't see that. How is Paladin. Wait, that's over. Yeah, seems uh, Naga got level 3 and uh, he. He made uh, more protectors. Yeah, it's work uh, well because uh, Paladin lost way more archers. Uh, so without uh, eight archers, it's really hard to deal with huntresses. Even you have uh, Orpo Venom or bears. Oh my! God. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. You know, Paladin. He's such a great player. So many successes in the Polish scene and Robinson. A newcomer basically on a scene. You know, like maybe that's that's his first tournament win in Poland. You know, like he's he gonna make it 3-1. That's so insane. Three ga games in a row. I'm so surprised by Robinson. I think like Foji, you're the reason that he's playing so good. No, I I, th I think he um, uh, used low light strategies. That's why. Oh my god, <laughs> that's four protectors. <laughs> He's making four protectors, man. <laughs> F five. Uh, he, he has five protectors. Yeah, it's really hard for Paladin, but uh, I, I think that uh, these two, two games uh, was very close uh, to Paladin, just he needs he need, uh, uh, on Northern Isles uh, built inside his base, second yes. entrance of floor. And this uh, game, he, he was uh, totally unexpected that he will lose, he, he lost uh, so many archers. Yes. Maybe he, he thought that uh, he can uh, do some good uh, damage, kill one to hunt, but he lost four archer and after that uh, he started to have a big trouble whole game. Oh, the man it will go down really soon. Palin pulling everything, but the tier 3, the tree of life is going down. Robinson is breaking Palin. This is such a surprise. The big favorite, GG. 3 1 for the Robinson. Oh my god, the crowd is actually going wild there. A lot of supporters for the Robinson. But man, Paladin, first game, last refuge. He had. Perfect early game, huge advantage, playing a little bit too greedy. And second game, mistake with be, uh, with base build. And third game, I don't know, this mis misposition of archers, the mistakes are happening for him. Yeah, uh, very surprised. Uh, yeah, Paladin, he... he, he... His strategy looks good with uh, Demon Hunter, Archers, and Naga, but yeah, maybe Nervous or uh, Tyrant.
Oh yes, and okay. So now this is a best of seven, and uh, Robinson is a, in a three-one lead. I'm really wonder what will Paladin do next here because it has to be such a blow of confidence when okay two games from strategy perspective you're playing well but with each game is games the mistakes are happening and i feel like he's losing losing the confidence here kind of feels like that hmm you, you mean paladin yeah paladin yeah, yeah paladin mm, i'm not sure it's about confidence Wait. just ty maybe tired uh... Yes, I'm just checking if the players might be ready. We're gonna have Tilted Rock as the next map. But I think that you mentioned one thing that Paladin is strong with the Princess of the Moon and he did play on Concealed Heal in Winner's Bracket against Robinson with that strategy. And I'm surprised that Paladin is not playing that strat. Because he is strong with Huntresses. He is strong with that strat. Uh, yeah, but uh, still, uh, most of the times we see that he uses uh, Demon Hunter. So. He's li like like more demon hunters and priests, but yeah, my mind is uh, you need uh, to play uh, maybe one game demon hunter, one game priest, and uh, sometimes uh, even uh, keeper to deal with priest. So you need uh, to use all strategies. Yes. Okay, guys. So far, this is a best of seven finals. We have three one. Score so far, Paladin with one uh, map score because he went to the grand finals from the winners bracket. But I feel like uh, players are taking a little bit uh, of rest, so I'm gonna use that moment to remind everyone about the charity that we are having here uh, together with FP FPS Center and joined by Foji supporting the cause in Ukraine. We are uh, raising money for the first eight kids uh, to help wounded people in the U Ukraine. The money goes directly to the Polish Association of Recognition and Help. Uh, they said this is the first need uh, in the front line to help people. Uh, on the stream uh, you have the information for the Polish bank account if you want to uh, do the bank transfer and also the link to the PayPal uh, where you can send the money and we will transfer that money directly to the to, to this Polish organization. Uh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to do it at the end of the stream, but we will gather information of how much we were able to raise money during the stream. And of course, we are happy to have you, Foji, here uh, supporting uh, the event and the cause that we're trying to do here. Yeah, thank you. Big thanks for this organizer and sponsor. Uh, it's my pleasure and I'm very proud to comment uh, the stream with you. Thank you very much, man. I mean, I, I, I wish that we had more personalities joining us uh, together 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 here, but I know that there are people supporting for sure. I talked with uh, with others and they will for, they said that they're gonna send something here and there. But I just gonna try to have a little update. Are we going with the next game? Yes, players are ready. So Foji, if you're like Paladin, what would be your tip for him right now? You're down one free, kinda the games look are looking like, like this. What would you say? Like, dude, calm down. Maybe change a strat. Yeah, yeah. I think he may be way nervous. So yeah, he need to uh, drink water, cool down, and uh, maybe Robinson uh, will start nervous and uh, start uh, to throw away next games. Yes. So if Paladin uh, will do comeback, uh, he will show that he is real champ. Because uh, I. He, he won last season, right? Yes, he did. In uh, maybe not dominating fashion, but we had the finals of best of seven, and he was facing the undead player Asarinox uh, from Poland. I don't know if you uh, know uh, this uh, player. And Paladin won 4 2. And Paladin, he says openly that he hates playing against undead. And I think that I'm the reason of that. Uh, yeah, yeah, because Paladin maybe is old school night elf, so yeah. It's uh, always hard to play against Undead. Yeah, and I always try to play annoying side with Gargoyle Harass. <laughs> and I know it's really uncommon yeah, strat. Yeah, I, I, I agree. With, uh, without uh, good preparation it, and experience, it's hard to deal with this kind of strat. And okay, look so... at this. Robinson with Princess of the Moon. He doesn't... I love this. You know, if I don't know. If you're, you, you're a football fan? Uh, I'm worker fan. Oh, okay. No, because I wanted to say that there's a saying in football that you don't you don't change a winning strategy, a winning squad. So, uh, Robinson, he plays another game with Princess of the Moon on Total Rock, and I think you said that this is a Demon Hunter map and not a Princess of the Moon map. 
Uh, no, it's uh, actually it's. Uh, then my bad. I'm for, sorry. <laughs> for for priest, uh, a special uh, uh, if you get a parallel uh, respawn. It's it's like uh, you know if you cut uh, another part of map, it's like look like echo else. This yes. parallel respawn, and it's good for priest because uh, this hero is. Um, with, with Huntress as uh, good... Uh, uh, wait, to... the player the play said it's the wrong map. No, it's not, because you always get the opposite side, right? It doesn't have to be cross-side. Um, I don't know. When I I played, uh, it's it uh, it was uh, every time different. Like, it, it's not... Uh, it was not totally cross. I'm not sure... Uh, about uh, rules on this tournament. Okay, I think they will need me because there's something happens. I'm gonna be be right back, uh, Foggy, uh, here with you because I think I'm needed there uh, to solve the problem. So we're gonna just have a really short break and I'm gonna see what is happening, okay? Because they're asking for an okay. admin help. Yeah. Okay, be right back. Yeah. Yeah, the problem is that uh, uh, long time I don't play Turtle Rock on Warcraft Champ. I ban this map, so I'm not sure if um, they are correct map with uh, only cross respawn. So. The admin went uh, to make final decision. Okay, and we are back. That was a small problem and confusion uh, with the map of Turtle Rock. And Forge, I have actually a question to you because we hosted a map on Turtle Rock, and player w players were, were discussing that there can be only uh, cross spawn on this map, and not like the parallel. Is that true? Uh, yeah. The problem is uh, that uh, I um, banned this map on Warcraft Champions a uh, long time ago, and I I don't remember. I'm not sure if uh, it's only cross. When I played, uh, maybe a few months ago, it was uh, parallel or cross. Yeah, but I mean, like, I've always thought that it's on the other side of the map, but it doesn't matter if it's like di di direct cross or just the next one spot, but it's always on the other side of the map, I felt. Uh, we played uh, mm, ninth season of, of Warcraft Champ. It was uh, parallel, uh, I remember, Moon against Focus. Yeah, exactly. It's like it's Warcraft 3 champion map, so it is like this because the only reason uh, this is changed is because the close pound was uh, not balanced in on this map. 
Yeah, so yeah, I agree with you. So I, I, I don't I don't know. Maybe uh, you know last season on World of Champs something changed, but yeah, I have no idea. I played uh, maybe two months ago. It was parallel or cross. Yeah, but exactly. After I, I stopped.